to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Tatiana Luñas. But for today's video, I finally decided to film the long-awaited, I know so many of you guys asked me for this, but I'm finally filming my everyday brow tutorial, and I'm super excited actually to finally get this out. I guess you can say I was kind of like nervous to film it. I don't even know why. I just because like I feel like everyone has a different way of doing their brows, so it's like what if like... I don't know what if it didn't come out right so I'm like okay whatever I'm gonna do it like I have them fresh brows I just got them done last week so don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up before we get started also subscribe down below if you are new and turn on the bell icon so you'll be notified every single time I post a new video without further ado let's get right into the video so this is gonna be a voiceover because I find that it's a lot easier so I'm gonna go ahead and start off by taking a spoolie and just brushing my hairs upward it helps me get a clearer vision on where exactly I'm going to start the line for my eyebrows so I'm just gonna go ahead and brush up sometimes I do brush down but in this video I decided to brush upward and start at the bottom first I'm going to go ahead and take my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in the shade chocolate and taking a little angled eyebrow brush um, I will link it down below I'm gonna go ahead and take some of the product and just start to line my eyebrows underneath where I'm missing hair so um, my eyebrows have that kind of effect where they are full but they're not super full so taking a light hand and kind of feathering upward um, following the natural hairs I'm gonna go ahead and kind of brush the product into my eyebrow and I also like to keep a spoolie on hand just to go ahead and continuously blend the product as I'm doing my eyebrows. I find this helps a lot more. So I'm going to go ahead and keep applying product as you can see the difference thus far. I'm going to go ahead and just angle my eyebrows and I'm going to go ahead and continue to spoolie and spoolie and spoolie. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and blend um, all of the product in together and then just kind of focus on the outer arch of my eyebrow. I apologize for this angle, this is a really bad angle. Then taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Definer in the shade Dark Brown, I'm going to go ahead and use that to kind of feather in the sparse areas of my eyebrows that I missed with the dip brow, so I'm going to go ahead and just feather that in. The light hand is key for this step. Then to clean up my eyebrows, I'm going to go ahead and take my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. I'm going to go ahead and use this to kind of carve out my eyebrows and give them that nice shape. So I'm going to go ahead and take my MAC 212 Flat Brush and I'm going to go ahead and pick up some of the product off the back of my hand and just kind of lightly, lightly carve out the brows. I'm not going to say a super heavy hand is key because it's not. A light hand is key for that precise cleanup. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of line where I want to clean it up and then drag it downward to create that nice arch that my brow needs or it has naturally with that product. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep dragging it down. Once I have everything cleaned up to a certain way, I go ahead and I take that product and I drag it downward. I do this step just because it makes it a lot easier to blend with my eye primer because I do prime my eyes for my eyeshadow with this same concealer so I find that it looks a lot nicer and a lot cleaner if the shade of concealer matches the one that you cleaned your eyebrows up with. So I'm going to go ahead and continue this step and cleaning up the inner portion of the bottom of my eyebrow as well. I'm going to go ahead and just finish this off and then we'll move on to the next step. I like to go ahead and taking my finger, I just like to kind of blend the harsh areas of my eyebrows. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of use my finger to blend out the corners of my eyebrows so that the concealer doesn't look so harsh. And then I'm going to go ahead and take that same concealer and carve the top of my eyebrows. However, I don't carve the whole top of my eyebrows, if that makes sense. So I will carve from the middle top portion of my eyebrows all the way down to the side of the arch. I'm not a big fan personally of concealing and cleaning up the whole brow itself. Here I am focusing on the outer arch of the eyebrow and I'm just going to go ahead and blend that concealer out and continuously just kind of doing light strokes to blend it out and then again I will be taking my finger and kind of just blending it out on my finger as well. <laughs> So 
So here you can see the difference between my natural brow versus my brow that I put makeup on. So right here is where I have barely any hair so compared to the top of my brow. Um, there's a huge difference. I created the line underneath. Now taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills I'm Lazy Highlight on a Morphe pencil brush, I'm going to go ahead and just take some of the highlight and use that to highlight my brow bone. I always do this step before I prime my eyes or even after sometimes before applying eyeshadow. But I like to kind of brighten up my brow bone just a little bit just so it gives kind of like a natural little glow. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel and I'm going to go ahead and just stroke that through my brows. Um, I like to use this stuff because it really helps your brows stay in place all day. Especially with me, I have pretty crazy brow hairs so it helps a lot with that. Um, I just kind of use a little bit and kind of use it to shape my brow a little more. And there you guys have it, my super simple, bold brow tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and I really hope this helped some of you out. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you are new, and also turn on the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I post my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.